All right. Well, I'll tell you what. I have had it with GoPro and their so-called product support. Tomorrow, this puppy and me are parting ways. I'm run down to Bass Pro Shops. I'm going to get at least two pounds of Tannerite. And I'm going to blow this thing to kingdom come. Hey, everybody. Don here again. Uh, it's a beautiful, wicked cold Saturday morning. And if you watched my last video, you know I've been having problems with my drone. <clears throat> it's the GoPro Karma drone. And I was about ready to ditch it. And so I have spent hours on the phone or chatting with GoPro customer service slash product support. If you want to call it that because their product support is pitiful. And I had decided I was going to ditch the drone. I had even concocted a great video idea. Uh, I was going to go to Bass Pro Shops and get a couple pounds of Tannerite explosive and then set the thing up and blast it to infinity and beyond. But I got a random comment from a um, just a viewer on my last video, and he said, had the same problem and almost ditched mine as well just need to update the firmware it's a problem because of the change of the decade they figured it out a little while ago good luck okay so this guy his channel is let's be dope so i thought all right what the heck um i gave customer service slash product support uh, one last try and uh, i got connected with um a person, Francis, I don't know if it was a man or a woman, but, you know, chatting. And I told him, listen, I've never gotten past the initial problem of my controller with the screen popping out, and which caused my crash, if you recall, back a while ago. Um, but the new problem is uh, compass interference. And I'll just say she. She asked me, uh, did you get a calibration failure? And I said, yes. I tried to calibrate multiple times, and it came back calibration failure. So she hooked me up with the update. And sure enough, updated my controller, my drone, the stabilizer. And now I think everything's going to work. I'm hoping. So we're going to go out this morning. We're going to try to put the drone in the air one more time. It's about zero out, but um, and all the snow has come out of the trees, which would have been really cool last time around. But hey, if I can uh, if I can get this thing to fly and work again, I'll be happy that I don't have to buy another one. I have said that this is not very good for hiking because it's so big and bulky. But hey, money doesn't grow on trees, and if this thing works, well, then I'll be happy to be using it. So. Let's go outside, and uh, I'll get bundled up, and we'll see if this puppy flies. Okay, trying to recalibrate the compass. Okay. Step one is finished. is complete. Whew, baby. All right. We are successfully recalibrated. Let's try this baby again. Are we ready to fly? Hmm. Why not? Ready to fly. Okay. All right, let's see if she'll fly right.
Well, the flight was a little bit rough. I'm a little rusty, but uh, I've got everything back in working order. The screen, although it still has those uh, vertical lines on it, uh, don't seem to be quite so bad. So that's something I just have to deal with. But as far as uh, blowing up the drone, sorry, I guess it's not going to happen. I must say I'm a little bit bummed, but uh, no, I'm just kidding. Hey, I'm, I am super psyched to have this thing back in action. And I want to thank um, uh, the gentleman at Let's Be Dope. Uh, check out his channel. Uh, I appreciate your comment. It uh, saved me a whole bunch of money. So thanks. We'll see you later.